Last Action Hero starring Arnold Schwarzenegger is one of my all-time favourite guilty pleasure movies. Um, some people might not actually see this as a bad movie or worthy of a guilty pleasure movie, but to me it is. Um, it's it's alright. I, I, I really enjoy it. There's a period of our like Arnold Schwarzenegger films where he, he did quite a few bad ones. Um, starting with this. This, this came out in... Um, May, no not May, July 30th, 1993 in the UK I think. Um, I think it came out about 18th of June in the US. So there's quite a bit of a gap before it came out in the UK. Um, so there's like this one. Then he, then he had a major success, you know, a major up in quality of the film when he teamed back up with Jim Cameron for True Lies. And then after that it was kind of like downhill for Arnie, but starting with this movie. So it's kind of down, downhill with, with films like Eraser and The Sixth Day and End of Days, which were like free on the trot, which were really bad. But they could possibly be guilty pleasure movies in, in the future. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, but yeah, going back to Last Action Hero. Yeah, I, I actually really enjoy this. I find this a fun movie. Um, the time it came out, I remember it flopped at the box office. Um... It was going through production problems. I think it was filming up to a filming and editing up to a week before it was released because the um, the movie studio um, wouldn't push back the the date of release. They wanted a a June release or whenever it was. There was talk that they were going to release it in July or August, but they stuck to their guns, which kind of resulted in a in an unpolished script. Now. There is some calibre behind this movie. Um, obviously, Schwarzenegger is the the main role. He's also a producer, so he, he you know he's, a, he's very hands on as well. He had um, final cast, final um, casting decisions on the cast, um, director choice, script approval, everything like that. Um, John McTiernan is the director, and obviously he's directed Schwarzenegger before in Predator, and he's also done the classic action movie Die Hard and Die Hard with a Vengeance a couple of years after this. And the script was co-written by Shane Black who, you know, has written such classic films as um, Lethal Weapon, The Last Boy Scout, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang and the modern classic The Nice Guys. Um, so yeah, the movie had plenty of high class calibre behind the lens. Um, and for some reason, it flopped. It had, it had, I think it had one, like, public showing, press screening before um, it actually got released. And the legendary film critic, Roger Ebert, completely slammed the movie. And that didn't go down well with the paying public. So, obviously, it, it kind of flopped. But over time, it's gained a cult following. And I'm a member of that cult following. Um, there's not really many... Arnold Schwarzenegger films that I don't like, you know, I can probably half of them could be guilty pleasure movies to me. Um, I have a, they're either all time classics and I love them, you know, which is like Terminator, Terminator 2, The uh, Predator, Running Man, Commando, True Lies, or they're guilty pleasure movies like Last Action Hero and ones I've previously mentioned. But yeah, um, Arnold Schwarzenegger is really good in this. You know, he plays Jack Slater, the main character. Um, basically, the story is about this kid who is a big fan of the Jack Slater movie franchise. Um, and he, he keeps going to this old rundown cinema and he's friends with the projectionist, Nick. And he gives him a, mag a ticket which he says is magic. And while he's watching the new release of Jack Slater 4, um, something happens, the magic ticket works and he ends up getting sucked into the movie into the middle of an action scene um so Arnold Schwarzenegger is playing Jack Slater um the fictional character and the kid who is trying to explain to him that he's a fictional character um and then later on in the movie he's playing himself and they come face to face the real Arnold Schwarzenegger and Jack Slater it's, it's quite interesting but it's fun it does a lot of um, movie tropes involving cops. You know, the, the shouty black police captain. Um, lots and lots of cameos in this movie. Robert Patrick as the T-1000, isn't it? Um, Sharon Stone as Catherine Trammell. She's in it. 
There's like cameos from actors playing themselves, like Jean Claude Van Damme, James Belushi, Chevy Chase, Ian McKellen's in it playing Death towards the end. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a hell of a lot of cameos. There's this good cutout um, of Sylvester Stallone as the Terminator in Terminator 2. That's a good cameo. That's a very creative cameo, because at the time I don't think they were on very good terms, those two. They were, they were big rivals. Um, yeah, Charles Dance, he plays Benedict, the main villain, and he's really, really good in this. I do actually really like Charles Dance in this. Um, 1993 was a big year for him, because it's the same year that Alien 3 came out, but also the year where he's in two films... That flopped. <laughs> so it was a big year, but then it wasn't a very good year. Um, I did read that they originally wanted Alan Rickman for the bad guy role, but there was some like pay dispute, so they set up for Charles Dance. And apparently, he, he, when he was on set, when he wasn't in character, he'd walk around with a T-shirt on saying, I'm cheaper than Alan Rickman, which I find quite pretty funny. Um, and obviously, everyone knows Charles Dance now through Game of Thrones. Um, with his character Tywin Lannister, um, but yeah, I really enjoy the. Yeah, I even enjoy the the stupid cartoon cat, which shouldn't be in the film. It shouldn't work. This cartoon cat kind of like turns it into Ufra and Roger Rabbit for like a few seconds. But I do actually find it funny for some reason. Now, my main only negative on this film is the kid, the main kid. I do find him annoying. Some of the things he does is annoying. I just find his face annoying. His acting annoying. I just find him annoying. I don't, yeah. That, but that's my only negative on this movie. Overall, I find it a fun movie. I have some good laughs with it. So there's some good action. There's some um, good, like, you know, jokes on the movie industry and how fake movies are. You know, you know, it's... I do enjoy it. Obviously, it's not one of Arnold Schwarzenegger's best films, but one that I do enjoy. A lot. I enjoy most of his movies from around that period. Um, like I've said before, Last Action Hero, True Lies, Eraser, The Sixth Day, End of Days. I enjoy all these movies. Um, many people don't, but I do. So, yeah, that is why, to me, Last Action Hero is a guilty pleasure movie. Let me know down below, guys, what do you think of Last Action Hero? Do you find it to be a guilty pleasure movie? Or do you actually find it to be a really good movie? And, you know, one that should be just a great movie? Or do you find it a bad movie? Are you one of those who hate this film? Um, yeah. Let me know down in the comments below, guys. Spread the word of the Heroic Dale channel. You know, like and share. And remember, guys, stay heroic.